This next episode of Space Weather Lessons covers the other way we get solar storms here at Earth. We've gone over the coronal holes, why they matter, and what causes them. We have done the same for sunspots, solar flares, and the coronal mass ejections that they produce. But there is yet another way we get enhanced solar wind here at Earth, and it has nothing to do with sunspots, solar flares, or coronal holes. It has to do with plasma filaments. These are the magnetically suspended ropes of plasma in the sun's atmosphere. Sometimes they stand straight up like a solar tornado. Sometimes they lay flat, almost like a long cloud does in Earth's atmosphere. Sometimes they can't figure out what the heck kind of shape they want to take. The ones that stand tall received some false fame a few years ago as the magnetic coronal cavity on the end of it, which pushes away and clears the coronal region with the same magnetic forces that are holding up the filament, was mistaken for a dark UFO sucking energy from the sun. In reality, coronal cavities are quite common. They are not attached to UFOs, but rather have a total lack of plasma above them, and they were one of the things these satellites were built to see and study. But the more important aspect of plasma filaments is that they can erupt, and that is real. They erupt violently, and unlike other solar blasts, they don't give off a pre-eruption solar flare as a warning. They just rip away. Some of the most dense and terrifying CMEs I've ever seen leave the sun were not from flares, but from these plasma filaments. In the 13 years I've been watching the sun and in my review of decades of previous eruptions, a dense central core of a filament has never hit the earth. We've gotten very lucky. These are just as fast as coronal mass ejections from solar flares, but the dense cores can be 10 to 100 to 1,000 times as dense. That would be a bad day to be a circuit here on our planet. Included in the scary eruptions of filaments is what is by far and away the most horrifying CME I have ever seen. Filaments released off the southern hemisphere and created a tornado of plasma CME that would have sent us back to the Stone Age if it had hit the Earth. About half of the geomagnetic storms I have covered here over the more than decade of analysis have been from plasma filament eruptions, while the other half have been from solar flares or coronal holes. It is rather lucky that we have not taken one of the super dense central cores of a big filament eruption, but all solar physicists in the world agree it is only a matter of time. The four key facts to know are that these plasma filaments can be oriented in any way, flat, standing tall, or something in between. They can erupt and make coronal mass ejections, CMEs, just like a solar flare. But unlike flares, there is no pre-X-ray emission warning of the eruption. It just releases and you have to be watching to see it. They actually produce the most dense and therefore some of the most dangerous CMEs that exist. So now, in our space weather lessons, we have gone over the three ways to have a solar storm here at Earth. A solar flare driven CME, a coronal hole enhanced solar wind stream, and today, a CME from an erupting plasma filament. There is a link below the video to all the space weather lessons if you've missed any of them. I will see you in the morning for the daily show. Be safe, everyone.